Hi everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Darren Thompson here, talking from the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Very pleased to say that I've got a special guest with me, Greg Day, who's our security CTO in EMEA. Hi Greg. How hey you Darren. Doing? Very good, thank you. Good show this week so far? Oh, it's been a phenomenal show so far. Interesting customer conversations? A lot, a lot of very interesting customers. I mean, mobile really is the future of computing. Yeah, absolutely. I'm hearing a lot about new tablet devices. I'm hearing a lot of concern around the fact that for every piece of productivity we gain from an employee, there's some risks associated with that device. And you know, I guess some anti have got a lot to say about that. Absolutely. I think almost last year was the, you know, I'm bringing my smartphone to work and, and there's the challenges of how do I enable it with the user's device or do I actually supply them uh, a new terminal here now, choose your own device and, and really now the next challenge is, okay, if I use, use my smartphone, what about my tablet that gives me that richer experience of productivity? Yeah. So why is Symantec different, Greg? Give us a, a synopsis as to why people should trust Symantec to secure those intelligent mobile devices. Well, and I think the fundamentals of this is we've had 20 years of security experience, and we think last time around we kind of learned as we went along. So problem, solution, problem, solution. And it feels like we're almost in danger of doing the same again. We wanted to enable email, so we built a solution. Next thing is corporate apps. Symantec is taking a far more strategic view of this, which is we're putting in a fundamental framework for enabling smart devices, a good management platform, but we're actually trying to integrate enabling the inherent security controls and supplementing them where are the gaps, and we've got to be consistent across all of those different technology platforms, whether it's Android, whether it's Apple, whether it's the new Windows platforms coming out. But the big challenge for most businesses is not the mobile virus or threat, it's information management. So we've got to be able to link together the device to be able to uniquely identify who's the user. That's the constant in this. And then look at that information flow. What's coming from the business onto that device? Should I be able to move it onto there? What kind of information is it? Can I understand the context of it? So there's a, a unique solution we've just released called O3, that's the first step into that foray. But then even once it's on that device, what about all the cloud services that I can use as an individual? How do I actually provision those from a business perspective, and how do I then control that information flow? So I think we're in a really unique position that we're taking a strategic view, learning from our mistakes, posting it around today's problem, rather than that historical, let's react to each step as we go. It seems to me that the threat landscape that we've, we've known and learned about over the last 20 years is the same threat landscape for an intelligent mobile device, right? So by leveraging the global intelligence network and all those things that we've built, you know, that makes us unique in the mobile space. Uh, absolutely, and I do think in the next three to five years, we won't actually talk about mobiles or PCs or tablets. It will just be, I have a device that I connect to the business and I connect to the cloud, and we should be able to treat all of them in the same vein. Right. Have a good show, Greg. Thank Have you. a great week. I'm looking forward to working with you this week and meeting many customers together. That's it for this blog. We'll be back later on. I'm going to do a bit of stuff around O3 and some of the other mobile announcements that Symantec are making this week as well. But for now, take care, and I'll speak to you soon.